A little clearing last evening made for a nice sunset. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. A fiery Friday sunset thanks to Joanne Bowman at Wintergreen in northern Nelson County. Those high level cirrus clouds always make for that picturesque sight, sunrises and sunsets. And we also had some of uh, what we call cumulus clouds, those puffy clouds. And this cloud, well, it may look like it's in the shape of Virginia or even Kentucky. Uh, let me know what you think this cloud looks like over on my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram page. And keep your photos coming, folks. If you haven't already, make sure you download the Storm Team 29 Weather app. It is free in your app or Google Play Store. And this is the easiest way to upload your photos from your smartphone or tablet. If you see it, snap it, and send it our way, you may see your weather photos here on the weather segments. Temp Temperatures across the board today and that first forecast will range from the 40s and 50s now into the 60s and 70s this afternoon with a blend of clouds and sun, a gusty southwest wind and only a stray chance for a passing shower this afternoon into the early evening hours. But I think most areas stay rain free today. Temperatures across the region right now are well, we're waking up to a warm morning. We're in the 50s pushing 60 in Culpeper, 45 cool degrees in Stanton, but even that's above average for this last almost second to last now morning of winter. Spring officially arrives later on tomorrow morning. NBC 29's live Doppler radar picture is showing dry conditions. We've had some partial clearing overnight, allowing for some moonlight and star shine. So dry skies for the next few hours and clear conditions. But the clouds will, will uh, perhaps fill back in over the next few hours as I I'm tracking a strong storm system producing some active weather last night and first thing this morning over the Midwest, the Great Lakes region. The core of this storm will bypass us to the northwest today into this evening, but there's a little trail of showers that may try to form and push our way as we go into the next 12 hours. So hour by hour, our high res weather tracker is showing as we go into this afternoon, a few more clouds, maybe a stray shower. If it does rain in your neighborhood, it won't last more than about 15 minutes. The best chance for some gusty downpours will be from DC, Baltimore, and especially north into Pennsylvania. That's where severe weather is possible today into this evening. Uh, overnight, some partial clear and snow over the mountains of West Virginia over the Allegheny front into snowshoe. But for our area, that's a sign of a push of cooler temperatures, more seasonable for this time of the year on Sunday. The next big thing I'm tracking from the Weather Center is going to be a strong storm system arriving here by mid next week, producing severe weather Monday and Tuesday from Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi to Alabama. It'll bring us a swath of widespread rain Wednesday into Thursday morning. In the next half hour, I'll have an update on how much rainfall is projected with that system. Your storm team 29 report today, partly sunny, only a stray shower chance, low 70s for highs for the valley, mid to upper 70s over central Virginia. Tonight, some clearing and we'll cool down to 45 to 50 degrees at daybreak with a blustery northwest breeze into your Sunday with more seasonable conditions. Spring officially arrives at 1133 in the morning, mid 50s for highs in the valley, low 60s over central Virginia, right on target for this time in March. Seven day forecast looks like this for the first week of springtime. Lows will be in the 40s by Monday morning in the low 70s on Monday afternoon, the first full day of springtime. Cloudier on Tuesday, high of 70. Rain is likely Wednesday to Thursday morning, high of 60 for Wednesday, mid 70s Thursday, and we should dry out by next Friday. Now, are we done with snow accumulation over central Virginia until next winter? Well, I'll have an update on that in the next half hour as well. And that is what you call a tease. It's all about show business, right? <laughs> we got to keep people watching. <laughs> we got to keep people watching. Now, I will say, I want y'all to know a little that goes into making this show. Mm -hmm. We run on coffee. How many oh. cups of coffee do you think you have well, when you come in and you do this? If show? I was talking a little too fast there, maybe that's a sign of how many cups I've had. When Josh gets like this, I've had, I, I have <laughs> had, I've had three. You've had three? three? Okay. Big cups. I, big cups. <laughs> big cups. I think I have so about maybe one. Like four or five. I have to be careful. <laughs> okay, so so four or five normal cups. Okay, I normally imagine if we had a coffee delivered to us, then we'd be in trouble it at two a.m. Well, three a.m. It might get too cool. I like my my coffee hot. All right, all right. Well, a class in Orange County is helping students.